It's c cold. It's freezing. Oops. Why does it have to be so cold outside? Let's get back. It's cold. Why does it have to be so cold outside? Who do we ask for help when we have questions? Da 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 da! Maggie the magnifying glass! I'm Maggie, Maggie, I help to make things clear. Just look through my looking glass and answers will appear. I'm Maggie, Maggie, come and let's explore. And we'll discover lots of things you never knew before. I'm Maggie! Why is it so cold outside? It's because of the sun and how the sunlight is hitting the earth. Would you like to learn more? If so, we can go on a little adventure together. Would you like to learn about why it's cold outside too? You would? Me too. Yippee skippy, let's go. Don't forget your journal. Oh yeah, got it. My terrific scientific journal. Bring yours along too. Poles versus equator. To best understand, we have to take a look at our solar system. The sun is part of our solar system. The earth and seven other planets and moons, comets, asteroids, dust and gas move around the sun and the Sun is the largest object in our solar system. Just like everything else in our solar system, the Earth travels or orbits around the Sun. It takes the Earth 365 days or one whole year to orbit one time around the Sun. In that one year, the seasons and the weather change many times. The sun controls the weather and four seasons on Earth. The four seasons are summer, spring, winter, and fall. To understand how it works, you have to know a little bit more about the Earth. At the top of the Earth is the North Pole. At the bottom of the Earth is the South Pole. There is an imaginary line called the axis that goes from the North Pole through the Earth to the South Pole. The Earth spins or rotates on its axis. In the middle of the Earth, there is another imaginary line called the equator. The equator divides the Earth into two halves called the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. However, the Earth is slightly tilted. When the North Pole is tilted towards the Sun, it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere of the Earth. It takes in more sunlight. With more light, the days are longer and the weather is warmer. It's summer. At the same time, the South Pole is tilted away from the Sun. The Southern Hemisphere receives less Sun. It's winter. With less Sun, the days become shorter and weather is colder. When the South Pole is tilted towards the Sun, it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere and winter in the Northern Hemisphere. So, it's the sun and the tilt of the earth that cause the different seasons throughout the year. The equator is always facing the sun directly. This is why places around the equator never get very cold. The further away from the equator you get, the colder it gets. Oh, I get it! The part of the Earth that is tilted away from the sun gets less sunlight, and that makes it winter. Got it! What is temperature? Extreme cold weather can be very dangerous. 
That's why it's so important for meteorologists or scientists who study weather to know the temperature of the air. Temperature is the hotness or coldness of something. People use thermometers to measure temperature. Temperature is measured in degrees. An old-fashioned thermometer uses liquid mercury or another kind of liquid in a glass tube with a bulb at the bottom. As it gets hotter, the liquid heats up. The molecules in the liquid begin to move and take up more space. When they don't fit in the bulb anymore, the liquid moves up the tube. The numbers on the side of the tube are used to measure how far up the liquid rises. People use different scales to measure temperature. This thermometer measures on Fahrenheit scale and the Celsius scale. You'll see that 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature at which water freezes, is the same as 0 degrees Celsius. I'm going to write that down in my journal. Thermometers measure temperature. Temperature is measured in degrees. Got it. Cold weather storms. Winter months can bring snowstorms, sleet, and freezing rain. But the most powerful winter storm is called a blizzard. Like all storms, blizzards can be very dangerous. Blizzards combine heavy snowfall, severe cold, blowing snow and wind. Blizzards make travel almost impossible. Many times roads and airports are shut down because of a blizzard. What makes a blizzard? Excellent question! Blizzards form when very cold air clashes with very warm, moist air. The warm air is lifted up over the cold air. Where these two masses of air meet is called a front. This interaction of cold and warm air colliding can cause precipitation, rain, hail, sleet, or snow. For snow to fall, it must be cold enough in the clouds and on the ground. If the air is too warm, the snow will melt on its way down and change to rain or freezing rain. Freezing rain happens when the temperatures on the Earth's surface are below freezing. The raindrops become super cooled. The result is ice that can accumulate on trees, wires, cars, and more. Freezing rain can cause travel problems on the roads and cause airports to be shut down. Cold weather storms can be very dangerous. Oh, I get it. Blizzards are severe winter storms. They form when warm and cold air collide. Got it! Staying warm. Staying warm in the winter can be difficult. To stay warm, we heat our homes with stoves, fireplaces, and furnaces. We make our own heat. When you go outside, you must wear the proper clothes that will protect you from the cold. Why? Because when it's cold enough, your skin can freeze. It's something we call Frostbite. When it's cold, windy, and wet, sometimes your body loses heat faster than it can make heat. It's a condition known as hypothermia. And that's not good for you. But being outside in cold weather isn't all bad, if you're dressed appropriately. Thanks, Maggie. You're very, very welcome. Today, I learned a lot about cold weather. I hope you did, too. These are the notes I took in my journal. The cold has to do with the Earth and how much sun it gets. 
areas around the equator are warmer than by the North and South Poles. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. Precipitation comes in many forms. It is mostly snow in the winter, but can also be sleet and even freezing rain. Blizzards are severe winter storms. They form when warm and cold air collide. Two dangers of the winter are frostbite and hypothermia. Both are caused from extreme cold temperatures. Learning about the cold weather was fun. Let's go on another scientific adventure real soon. Bye! So long!